हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज योर प्रोफेसर निलेष आनंदवाणी फ्रॉम आनंदवाणी बायोलॉजी क्लासेस इफ द स्टूडेंट्स दोज हु आर अपेयरिंग फॉर द नीट और ए आई पी एम टी और द एम एस सेट और दे आर इन एलेवन स्टैंडर्ड वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर द चैप्टर इन नीट देर इज अवन यूनिट कॉल्ड एज आई मीन टू से देर इज वन चैप्टर कॉल्ड ए स्टडी ऑफ एनिमल टाइप एंड द टाइप्स आर कॉकरोच अर्थोम एंड फ्रॉड i'm going to upload the some videos of you can say cockroach i have already uploaded the you can say external feature of cockroach classification and introduction of cockroach digestive system circulatory system respiratory system here today i'm going to upload the uh, you can say nervous system of cockroach so guys nervous system of cockroach is slightly nearby same like a you can say human being in case of human being nervous system is divided into three part such as a central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system central peripheral and autonomic you can say ans pns and cns cns pns ans now central nervous system of cockroach i will explain you in detail but peripheral and autonomic nervous system in short like autonomic nervous system is responsible for controlling the involuntary organ say for example heart in cockroach which has a 13 chamber and alary muscle which has a 12 pair and peripheral nervous system is responsible for controlling most probably dorsal parts means back part now come to the main organ central nervous system so central nervous system of a cockroach is divided into mainly three part such as a supraesophageal ganglion sub esophageal ganglion and circum esophageal ganglion supra esophageal ganglion sub esophageal ganglion and circum esophageal if you want to know their location so it's very easy supra esophageal ganglion is located above the esophagus sub esophageal ganglion is located below the esophagus and circum esophageal ganglion is located at the center of ganglion you can also call it circo a uh, pharyngeal commissure supra esophageal ganglion is regarded as brain of cockroach just because it is a bilobed mass situated in the head above the esophagus between the bases of what antenna you can see this it is formed by the fusion of a pair of a ganglia namely uh, you, you can call them protocerebrum deutero cerebrum and trito cerebrum simply means that supra esophageal ganglion is located above the esophagus it is regarded as a cerebrum or main brain of cockroach because it has a many function like in human being 85% part of a brain is a cerebrum which does the multiple function around 1200 same way supra esophageal ganglion is a main organ uh, which do the multiple action in the brain of cockroach it is divided into three part proto cerebrum deutero cerebrum and trito cerebrum proto proto cerebrum deutero cerebrum and trito cerebrum now this lower portion sub esophageal ganglion is also the bilobed mass situated in the head region but below the esophagus that's why it is called sub esophageal ganglion it is formed by the pair of a Uh, means three pair of a ganglia of a head region and circum esophageal ganglion or circum pharyngeal commissure is located at the center of esophagus now uh, three part of a supra esophageal ganglion collectively make a nerve cord or you can say nerve ring nerve cord or nerve ring like in human being there is a spinal cord in case of human being there is a spinal cord but in case of a cockroach there is a nerve ring now this uh, you can say nerve ring or you can say uh, nerve cord or ventral cord one in the same thing this nerve cord of cockroach has a nine pair of a nerve in case of human being spinal cord has a 31 pair of a spinal nerve and 12 pair of a cranial nerve that is in human being but in case of a cockroach there are nine pair of a nerve now i would like to teach you 
how these nine pairs are distributed so first three pairs are located in thorax region as you can see first go to the first thoracic chamber you can call prothoracic second nerve go to the second chamber of thorax we call mesothorax and thus third number nerve go to the third chamber of uh, i mean it is a th third part of a thorax we called metathorax so prothorax mesothorax metathorax now three nerve are going going into the thorax region now how many nerve remain six now fourth number nerve go to the first abdominal segment fifth number go to the second abdominal segment seventh number nerve go to the third abdominal segment eighth number nerve go to the fourth abdominal segment ninth number nerve go to the uh, just a minute first three number first three nerve go to the first three chamber and remaining six nerve go to the 11 abdominal segment out of them fourth number nerve go to the first abdomen fifth number go to the second abdomen sixth number go to the third abdomen seventh number go to the fourth abdomen eighth number nerve go to the fifth abdomen now remaining abdominal chambers are six and but nerve is only one so this nerve go to the seventh chamber which cover six seven eight nine ten eleven simply first three nerve go to the thorax then four to eight number nerve go to the five abdominal segment and last number nine nerve go to the seventh seventh you can say uh, abdominal segment which covers seven six seven eight nine ten eleven so likewise there is a distribution of what nine abdominal nine, nine nerves first three nerve to thorax and remaining six nerve to the abdominal mehndi mein ek bar bata deta hu nervous system cockroach ki teen part mein divided hai central peripheral autonomic autonomy ka kaam hai heart ko aur alary muscle ko control karna aur peripheral nervous system ka kaam hai back side dorsal portion ko cover karna central nervous system teen parts mein divided hai supra esophageal ganglion sub esophageal ganglion and circum esophageal ganglion usme jo supra esophageal ganglion hai ise hum main brain kehte hain it is considered as a you can say main brain of a cockroach because ye teen part mein divided hai supra esophageal esophagus ke upar hai sub esophageal esophagus ke niche hai aur circum esophageal ekdam center pe iske liye se supra matlab upar sub matlab niche circum matlab center pe to circum esophageal ganglion ko circum pharyngeal commissure bhi kaha jata hai supra esophageal ganglion ke teen parts hai ye teen part hai protocerebrum ड्यूटेरोसेरेब्रम और ट्राइटोसेरेब्रम और तीनों पार्ट मिला के नर्व कोड बनता है नर्व कोड नर्व कोड के टोटल नाइन पेयर है पहले तीन पेयर थोरेक्स में जाते हैं जैसे पहली नर्व हुई प्रोथोरेक्स दूसरी नर्व मेसोथोरेक्स और तीसरी नर्व मेटाथोरेक्स अभी नर्व टोटल बचते हैं छ और एबडोमिनल सेगमेंट है ग्यारह तो फोर्थ नंबर की जो नर्व है तीन ऊपर और नीचे छ फोर्थ नंबर की नर्व फर्स्ट एबडोमिनल सेगमेंट जाएगी फिफ्थ नंबर की नर्व सेकंड एबडोमिन में जाएगी सिक्स नंबर की नर्व थर्ड एबडोमिन में जाएगी सेवंथ नंबर की नर्व फोर्थ में जाएगी और एट्थ नंबर की नर्व फिफ्थ एबडोमिनल सेगमेंट में जाएगी और बाकी जो बचते हैं एक नर्व और सेगमेंट्स है छ तो लास्ट नाइन्थ नंबर की नर्व सेवंथ एबडोमिन सेगमेंट में जाती है तो वो किस में कवर कर कौन कौन से एबडोमिनल को कवर करती है सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन तो ये नर्वस सिस्टम का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नर्व कोड का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आपको याद रखना काफी जरूरी है क्योंकि नीट में ऐसे क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं लाइक लास्ट नंबर नर्व ऑफ कॉकरोच फ्रॉम द वेंट्रल कोड और नर्व कोड गोज टू विच एबडोमिनल सेगमेंट सो आंसर इज सेवंथ नंबर ओके सो स्टूडेंट अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आई है तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए और बेलाइकन प्रेस कर दीजिए ताकि इसी चैप्टर और आने वाले मेरे सभी चैप्टर के नीट के वीडियो आप तक पहुंचते रहे student if you like my video so please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notify when i will upload the videos related to this chapter as well as all the chapters of me thank you so much